In this video, I'm going to make a realistic Venom cake from the movie Venom. I start by stacking chocolate cake with layers of vanilla buttercream in between, and I carve it out into the shape of the head and give it a layer of ganache to seal it all together and trap the moisture and create the final shape. Then I go ahead with my white modeling chocolate, and I start sculpting out just the basic details of the face, so placing everything in proportion to each other, figuring out all the dimensions first, the eye, the nose, and the mouth being the most important parts and getting in the exact right spot. As I lay out all the proportions on the face and I get them in the right spot, um, I'll start building outward, so the top of his forehead, the side of his mouth, start building out that cheek, the jawline, and then once everything's in the right place, I go in and start adding more detail, so refining all of the shapes of the eye, the mouth, and the nose, and the structure around it to create the likeness of the face. Again, I'm sculpting Tom Hardy's face um, as he starred in Venom, and what's nice is I only have to do half his face because the other half will be Venom, so that's really nice when you don't have to exactly match the proportions on each side so I went ahead I added some hair I sculpted his ear and now I'm moving on to the venom side of the face so venom has this really huge eye um, and really big smiley mouth so I start with those two shapes I start adding some of his teeth he has a lot of these really sharp creepy teeth all around the smile of his mouth um, and then I start adding in his skin which is like this leathery sort of texture and it's like veins um, like poisonous veins that sort of come onto the face of Tom Hardy so I start adding little lines to mimic that effect and then I go in and com complete the teeth on the mouth I paint behind the teeth in black so I don't have to go in there later and add in all that detail and I finish up his jaw and the, the side of his head and now I'll go back onto Tom Hardy's side and I'm just sculpting in some hair for his beard his mustache um, and now I stop sculpting the face and I go on to the body so I stack up three layers of cake um, for the top of the body and then I start carving it out and one side the Tom Hardy side is going to have just a, a jacket on and the other side will be Venom's body so once I've got it ganache and a hard surface I start going in with the modeling chocolate and creating the body of Venom so it just matches his face, um, this leathery texture and veiny skin um, to create that like poisonous type feel with those little venom veins. And then I just add in the jacket and fondant on Tom Hardy's side and continue the veins along the back of venom skin overlapping him and overcoming him. And then I start painting Tom Hardy's face. So um, I go in always with the eye first, I like to paint. And for the type of modeling chocolate that I'm using, I use um, petal dust to paint it. Um, a lot of chocolate uses um, gel color, but since this is a, my special specific recipe, I paint it with petal dust. And then I'm going in and I start with the eye and then start moving my way out, creating that skin texture all around his face. And I'm layering different tones and shades of pigment to create that translucency of the skin. Remember, human skin has veins underneath, there's blue, there's greens, there's purples underneath the skin. It's just not one tan color. Um, and then I go ahead and paint his lips, his ears, and then his beard. He has like a dark brown kind of golden hair. So i um, incorporating those colors into the beard, the mustache, the eyebrows, and the hair. And I continue that all the way along the back until Tom Hardy's face is done being painted and then I move on to Venom and for Venom he is mostly black um, but I add shading with dark grays, light grays, the tops of the veins get a little bit lighter um, so underneath they'll be darker and then they get lighter to make those veins come forward so I start painting around the skin first making sure to get all those little veins took a while to paint individually all those veins but it's totally worth it his eye is white and then I just add some gray shading around to give it some depth like so and then his teeth his gums are just like kind of dirty brownish pink um, so I go in with that first and then his teeth are uh, a yellowish gray uh, just kind of dirty snaky looking so I go in with my grays and my yellows um, to create that kind of like rotten teeth look and I just give the jacket a nice turquoise blue with my gel colors and then I finish painting Venom's body again with the black and the grays um, to create some tones and depth go all the way around and complete his skin and again just doing this with my petal dust mixed with vodka painting away then I add some brown fondant for the board and I go in with gel color and just paint it darker to contrast more um, just a darker brown and I finish it with a ribbon and with that I am complete I have my venom cake all done we've got half venom half Tom Hardy I just love how cool this cake turned out I love the contrast between each side and that scariness of the venom, but how lifelike it looks.
I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you can head over to cakingart.com for my full courses on how to make my cakes and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like this video and subscribe and thank you for watching.